Rincon, Puerto Rico is a small town located on the western part of the island nation. Normally, it has a population of 30,000, but for around six months of the year, the population jumps to 100,000, which is interesting in conversation with its, with its tourist-based economy. A big part of Rincon's tourist economy is due to the popularity of surfing in the area. It started off just being a little secret spa where only a certain number of surfers knew where it was to being one of the most well-known spots in the world. Part of this is due to the intricate reef systems that surround the coastline of Rincon. A consequence of ballooning tourism is failing infrastructure and the push to develop land seaside, resulting in the depletion of the coral reefs surrounding the island. The three major culprits are fecal matter in the water due to failing septic tanks, turgenous runoff such as mud and dirt sediment due to overdevelopment, and trash and waste insufficiency, insufficiencies on the island. Along with the local factors that are leading to environmental degradation, global forces such as global warming are manifesting as super hurricanes like Maria and Irma that have pulled in the island. Developable land is part of a zero-sum game here, whereby the need for residential and commercial life is outpacing availability. The reef system in Rincon is a vital protector of shoreline buildings and properties. During my time in Rincon, I learned quite a bit about the Marina Reserva Tres Palmas. This was a cooperative project bringing together community members from government, business and environmental protection for the purpose of just designating a one by one square mile as marine reserve. This project was a success because it recognized the importance of both the reef and its depletion, and it took into account the voices of all stakeholders in Rincon. This map designates the Marina Reserva Trace Palmas. It also highlights the area's extreme biodiversity as well as the immense amount of local partnerships it has in the area. I would say like our community in general is pretty environmentally conscious and like is aware of what the Marine Reserve does, you know, is aware of um, how their, how like what they do on land can impact the ocean. So I would say like in, in general, I would say our community knows that and tries to, to live in a way that would have um, less of an impact on the environment than perhaps some other, other towns that might not have that same kind of um, community vibe. The cooperative attitude brought about by the local community of Rincon is what separates it from other communities and that the majority of the sustainability and environmental projects that are being done in the town are being done as local projects. As Dr. Chelsea Tui points out, everything on the island of Puerto Rico will eventually end up in the water. This is why the fight for clean water and a strong local infrastructure is so important here. The Rincon chapter of the Surfrider Foundation has been partnering with local economic and environmental organizations to prevent further oceanfront development. Blue Water Task Force, along with Surfrider, has played a key role in water quality sample collection. Each testing kit currently costs $10 to both gather and process water samplers. Therefore, my fundraising goal is $1,000. Surfrider is in a partnership with the University of Mayagüez to complete rigorous EPA protocols and training for water sample collection. There is a need for satellite labs to address the testing bottleneck, as testers only have six hours to between sample capture and processing and are geographically limited in what one lab can do.
Beyond the high cost of testing, there are island constraints around materials and processing, which make the testing a challenge. Water testing is funded primarily through community donations without government grant money. Our project focuses on raising awareness about the Rincon Reef systems, as well as raising funds to continue water quality testing in the area. Please check out my Instagram page, as I will be continually updating it with more inf information and pictures. Also, please spend more time on these websites to learn more information, as well as to donate. Thank you.